So, there's this very important database with irreplaceable information regarding the galaxy's heroes. The Galactic Empire export this information into a CSV file for you to ingest into a spreadsheet so you can perform some important calculations regarding their galactic credits. The CSV file has several fields to include the unique galactic ID. Unfortunately, the Galactic Empire chose to use an identifying number that has leading zeros. If you have Microsoft Excel installed, Excel will automatically associate itself as the default application to open CSV files. When you double click the CSV file, you will notice Excel will automatically remove the leading zeros since Excel believes this field to be a number field on which calculations will be performed. However, in this case, the Galactic ID is not a real number field, but more of a text value in which the leading zeros must remain. Let's show our file extensions by clicking on the File Name Extension checkbox in the Show Hide section of the View tab. This will allow us to easily differentiate between a CSV and a native Excel file. If you first open Excel and then open a CSV file using the Open dialog box and note that to see the CSV file in the dialog, you have to select Text Files from the File Type drop-down list. You will see Excel still removes the leading zeros from our Galactic ID field. If you have LibreOffice installed and open Calc, the LibreOffice Excel counterpart, and then open the CSV file using the Open dialog box, you will next see a Text Import dialog with some defaults already set. However, when you click the OK button, you will notice that LibreOffice Calc also removes the leading zeros from my Galactic ID field. To import a CSV file in Excel, open a blank workbook. On the Data tab under the Get External Data section, click From Text. Navigate to the location containing the CSV file and click Import. Since the CSV file is delimited with commas, ensure the Delimited Radio button is selected. Also, if the CSV file has headers, click the My Headers Has Data checkbox. Click Next. Click the Comma checkbox. You should now see some lines separating the fields. Click Next. By default, Excel will automatically identify each field as general, where it will automatically convert what it sees as a numeric value into a number, date, etc. To override this behavior, on the field in question, in this case the Galactic ID field, where you want to preserve the original text, highlight the field and select the Text Radio button. Do the same for other fields if necessary. Click Finish. Since we're performing an import function, Excel will automatically import the CSV into the existing new workbook. You can now see where the Galactic ID field is preserved with the leading zeros. Now you can see that Excel has imported the data from your CSV file into a spreadsheet as Book 1. From here you can accomplish any of the normal Excel spreadsheet functions and save an Excel spreadsheet. However, since you've imported the CSV data into a new workbook, it is important to note that you are not, at this time, modifying the existing CSV file. If you want to save your changes back to the original CSV file or to another CSV file with a different file name, do the following. Oh, and be sure to have a backup just in case if something goes wrong. File, Save As, navigate to the folder where the CSV file is located. In the Save As Type drop-down, select CSV, overwrite the existing CSV file, or create a new one as to have another copy, which is what we're going to do here. If you're overwriting, click Yes to replace the CSV file. Click Yes to the nagging do you want to keep using this format dialog box. To import a CSV file into LibreOffice Calc, click File, Open, navigate to the folder where the CSV file is located, Open, here, you will notice that LibreOffice Calc automatically opens a text import dialog box. However, like Excel, Calc automatically identifies fields as standard. To override this behavior, on the field in question, highlight the field and select text from the column type drop-down list. Do the same for other fields if necessary. Click OK. 
Now you can see where Galactic ID field is preserved with the leading zeros. If you're a Linux user using LibreOffice, the steps are the same as with LibreOffice on Windows. Click File, Open, navigate to the folder where the CSV file is located, Open, highlight the field, and select text from the Column Type drop-down list. In this example, I'm using LibreOffice Calc on CentOS 8. And that is how you open a CSV file in either Microsoft Excel or LibreOffice Calc while retaining the field's original data type.